you, we're, we're going to give this part of the van to Palestine. We're going to give this part of the van to Israel. We're going to give both of them money. What happened at the very beginning? The Arab Allied forces, for some reason, for whatever reason, decided to fight and start trying to stop Israel from having their territory. That is the situation. This is not colonization where one person said the entire society and structure in Israel was fully thriving. No, it was not that. It was people living in very small little tribal towns. It wasn't a very developed place. If you went to Israel 200 years ago, it was a barren wasteland except for Jerusalem. There was nothing there. It, it's the truth. This is the, the Ottomans were in control of this territory for 800 years. They didn't build anything. Yet they built Turkey and they made and it to... they erased like, yeah, something listen. like 198 please. villages please. and there was nothing there. Okay, listen, please. Wait, wait, wait. We'll get there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Listen. We'll get there. Okay, fantastic. We'll listen. get there. That's okay. We can tackle that in a second. Yeah. When I say nothing there, what I mean is, when you go to the Ottoman Empire, Turkey, it was a fully developed civilization. It was, it was thriving. It had a lot of buildings and infrastructure. Is, Israel was a very small community. And it had both Jews and Arabs and Palestinians there at the same time. All I'm saying is this, the, the, the kind of language of colonization is, is deception. You're literally openly lying on camera by saying no, Israel, right. Israel, Israel just randomly saw these people and said we're going to displace you. No, no. they were both given territory. No, they fought over the territory. Okay, one side won, another side lost, they expanded their territory and now we have the situation we have now. Let's break this so what we're not doing, so what we're not doing, no, 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 I'm going to finish my point. What, wait, stop talking, wait, 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 I'm happy, I'm happy to talk to you, I'm happy, I'm happy to speak to you, it's not a problem, I'm happy to engage you, but the problem is, I'm talking to you, and I'm also talking to my brother here, just carry on, and I'm happy, I'm happy to have that conversation, carry on, my point is this, do not make a false equivocation, because people do this, and it's deceptive, okay, the, 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 the media reporting is so, one-sided today. I agree, listen, I agree. listen, listen. You have African American I people agree. trying to compare their suffering in white America to what's happening in Palestine. It's not the same situation. The Palestinians weren't on cotton fields picking space. No, I'm making a point about false equivocations. You cannot use language like colonization no to describe the situation because no that's problem. not what it is. Let's it's conflict down. between two countries. Not that's what it is. It's not country. Yes. Palestine it's a battle. A They're fighting Palestine each other. Palestine is not a country. It's not being. It's, it's not, a people. That's, it's, it's, it's people. between two okay, nations. Okay. It's still a nation. Let's break this down. But well, that's what I wanted to say. Go on, you go. In 1948. Don't, don't say colonization. That's the just League count. of Nations oh. voted to establish the creation of Palestine uh, of Israel. Amen. And, it, and, and was, Palestine. And that was one of the greatest days and in Palestine. history. And Palestine. And Palestine. That was one of the greatest no days problem. in human history. No problem, Absolutely. Zion. It's no problem. Absolutely. Okay. And also, one, one more thing, one more thing. Sam. From the river to the sea is a Sam. provocation Finish. and Hamas sympathy. Don't Sam. say those words, from Sam. the river to the sea. That's an abomination. Sam, okay. Oh. Now, it now. Is. Don't say those words. I challenge all of you here, listening and watching. Google the votes of the League of Nations at that time during the creation of the state of Palestine, proposed Palestine and Israel. You would see I'm I'm that the majority of the members of the League of Nations were from where? From where? We're from where? We're Europe. European. Northern European. Amen. We're European. Yes. Praise and God. many of these European countries had what? Had what? Had colonial what? Empires. And they were well acquainted with the idea of colonization. Yes. Oh my goodness. Man. And taking land by force. Yes. Also looking at a map and drawing lines on the map. A splitting people between people, people split between lines, tribe between lines, families between lines, sites peak up, etc. etc. The, the majority of the legal nations, what I'm saying, were a colonizing minded European okay. people okay, go on, go on, who go were on. used to doing what they did. It was a majority Asian, it was a majority African, it was a majority South American, it was a majority nothing but Europe. Yes, yes. These people are expertise in colonization and taking people's land are the ones who made that decision. Number two, who gave them the right to do so? Who gives the right to London, Washington, Paris, Berlin, Madrid, and whoever you just become ideological to, to do this? Who gave them the right to give a land of one people to disenfranchise the land of a people? Who gave them the right to do this? I'm sorry, you know I'm gave, let me finish. I don't want to burn to the earth, but let me finish. Do you know what gave them the right? 
because they were colon oh, they had colonies at the time yeah. and empires at the time. To make a million people exactly. Now. They had exactly. The power. I ask you this question. They had the power to I do. ask you this, this question. Let me finish. Right. Number three. Point number three. Brother Sam said the land was empty. Yeah, that's bollocks. Fallacy. Did I say those words? Depopulated. Did I, did, no. Yeah, you said no, 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 Say no, the no, words. Did I say? Say the words. Did I say? Exactly. There was nothing there. Do you want me to say what I say? Okay. okay. No. Did I not say no. that there were no. people in Israel? No. Did I say there was not small villages? Sam, please. But as a whole, Sam, it was a barren please. land. Sam, please. That's a fact. It's a Guess historical what? fact. Guess what? Guess so, what? Guess what? Guess what? You're just a sympathizer, yeah, my friend. It's like it's kinda hard to even please, No, please, it actually please, is. Please, it actually is. It's kinda please, it's kinda, it's kinda please, hard. Please, it's kinda hard to deal Sam, with this level please, of like self-commiseration and guilt, right? Sam, the, the level of Sam, guilt you guys experience living Sam, in the West is actually like hard Sam, to see God. I challenge the viewers and the people here to bring up the colonial map of the British Mandate of Palestine and see how many Palestinian yes, villages man. and cities yeah. were in what we call today Israel. Okay. Okay. It was not empty. But I say this on my third point to finish. Yeah. When the Romans came into these lands, yeah. the British Isles. Yeah. Okay, we don't need chili. Yeah. Yes. When the Romans came to these lands. Yeah. They colonized this land. And they saw the Britons. That's they colonized this land. Let me ask you this question. Yes. Was Britain at the time sparsely populated? Yes. Were there villages everywhere? Yes. No. Did London exist? No. Did Manchester exist? No. Did Chester exist? No. Why do I say Manchester and Why? Chester? Why? Because the C H E T R comes from it, it means the Romans themselves established those cities. Okay. That's what Chester means, Manchester. So let me finish. London, which was then Londinium, was founded and built and created by the Romans. Of course. Did the Britons think when the Romans came here, there's only a few hundred thousand of us in these British Isles? Okay. It's not worth okay. fighting for. Let me finish. It's not worth resisting. No, no, I need, I need, Let me finish. I need, I need to Let me finish. Now. It's not worth. 30 seconds more. Let me finish. It's not more. worth resisting the colonizing of the Romans. Because why? It's not, it's not a one sided affair. It has, have, to, it has to be both sides. We don't have anything to equate to the city of Rome. We don't have anything equated to the city of Athens. We don't have anything equated to the city of 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 of, of Carthage. So Rome was destroyed anyway. They didn't think that. They said, "This is my land, and I'm not going to vacate my land." Okay, cool. So again, your analogies no, no, stop, stop, stop. No, we, are fallacious. Do you know? Do you know what? Do you know what's so fascinating? I made three points. Do you know what's so fascinating? He's 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 almost kind of presented himself as like anti-colonization, but when we open the annals of history. Who took over, who, 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 who completely eviscerated the Byzantine Empire in the 14th century and stole the entire region from a kingdom that was there for a thousand years? Your Muslim people. Who went into the entire Islamic world and actually through sword battle and warfare colonized and established Islamic states across the entire world and took over the ancient Roman Empire? That land was basically in the Persian control, then the Roman control, and then the entire Islamic territory, including your country, Morocco, was colonized by Muslims. Yet now you're trying to be sanctimonious about colonization. What are you talking about? The only, no, 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 stop, 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 stop. I'm making, I'm making a point, stop, stop. I'm making a point, my friend. Uh, don't interrupt me, man. You're sitting here trying to be sanctimonious about colonization because a European is doing it. But if he, have a, if he has a curved sword that says Allahu Akbar, all of a sudden it's acceptable. It's okay to go into Israel, um, sorry, into Morocco, Tunisia, Algeria, all of these countries and completely wipe out the leadership and install Islam. You support this, you view this as an act of God. So who are you to sit here and talk about colonization? You have no leg to stand on. It's very easy. Stop, stop. It's very easy to do this thing. Wait, stop. It's very easy to do this thing where they say the white man is colonizing and he's succeeding. There's two billion Muslims today speaking. And they all, there's, there's, a, there's such a high level of Arab con uh, sorry, Arabic content. Um, there, there's, 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 there's two billion now. There's Arabic um, linguistic understanding across this entire region, which is a sign of colonization. The reason English is the worst widely spread language in the world is because of colonization. Yeah, of Arab colonization has been so successful. The Islam world is now two billion. So you have no leg to stand on. The fact is you choose the Palestinian pride which makes the colonization of Israel evil. But if it was Muslims versus Jews, you would support it. You're a hypocrite. 
you have no, finish, no, 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 stop talking, stop talking, stop talking when I'm thinking, stop talking when I'm talking so I can finish my point, stop talking when I'm talking so I can finish my point, the point is he made this kind of sanctimonious, oh, the, 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 the indigenous Palestinian, his land was taken, my friend, how many lands were taken, the Arab conquistadors, the guy, the, they took entire territories the they, I, I'm, I'm mixing the terms they took entire territories subjugated people who didn't believe in their religion gave them dimmy status for generations like we see in turkey and egypt and other places so you do not have a leg to stand on to try and be sanctimonious here the fact is two nations were given land and one nation said we're not happy with the other nation receiving it they don't even deserve to be a state and they decided to fight for it so now what and here here's the crux here is the crux of what we've been talking about today so we wait 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 stop here's the here's the crux of what we've been talking about is this the the central point that we were trying that actually started this entire discussion it's important for people to understand this is why do the arab world with all of their money today not assimilate the Palestinians into their territories. But, but, wait, 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 it's easy to say that, my friend. Fantastic. Just carry on. But he has the money. Oh, Just carry on. Oh, this guy's heckling, it's actually become different. He's not on mic. Here's the thing, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Your, your argument is basically, your argument's effective this. The Palestinians are indigenous to the land, therefore they shouldn't leave their home, yes? But the Jews have always been there. No. The, you, you, the, no, no. Do you, know, do, you know, do you know what makes me laugh, okay? I'm, I'm gonna say this. It's called white guilt. It's called white guilt. No, 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 I'm going there right now. No, no, it's, it's called white guilt. White guilt says, who is the victim? Who is the perceived oppressor? I need to support the victim even when they say to the party, from the river to the sea. I see white English people shouting from the river to the sea, which is calling for the death and destruction of Jewish people. You are a disgrace, my friend. Don't speak to me. Don't talk to me. You are a disgrace. Do not say a word to me. You're dealing with psychological trauma from your ancestors going around the world and destroying countries. You're dealing with guilt. So don't sit here and talk to me. You ain't got nothing to say, my friend. Don't speak to me. I cannot deal with this level of self-hatred. Israel's this guy's a joke, a him. disgrace, okay. absolute disgrace my friend, I'm making my point now, you're saying, and I mean that, he is a disgrace, every single white person who deals with this guilt and shame, go and read a history book, the Jews never left the land, they've always been there, talk to me, no, I'm not, not going to touch him, I'm just dealing with this satanically are. inspired concept. Talk to me. This satanically inspired concept. Or so, come on, I'm dealing with it. I'm dealing with it. The point is, the That's Jews, enough. there have always been Jews in the land of Israel since the, since the last 2,000 years. Okay. Even when they were, even, wait, wait, even when the, the, the temple fell in 70 AD and they were, they were cast away, they always came back to pray next to the Western Wall. This is a historical fact. Palestinians at some point in time inhabited the land. Okay, they both have a claim. The best case scenario, I'm, I'm, let's just finish here because this guy's got me angry. The best case scenario is either one of two options. Palestine receives a state with land and freedom. No. Or, or, or mate, mate, seriously, oh my goodness, bro. I'm, de I'm, I'm dealing with it again. Seriously, I'm saying it. Stop. Come on, man. But he's lucky. Do, do you know why he's lucky? I'm not militant. Come on. I'm angry. I'm annoyed. But I'm not going to touch him. I'm not going to touch him. And that's the reason he's talking because he knows I'm not going to touch him. Because if I was going to touch him, he wouldn't be this brave right now. He's destroying the conversation, man. He's destroying the conversation. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You don't look like a boxer to me. Ignore him. But yeah, here's the point. Here's the point. The ultimate solution, from my perspective, is two scenarios. One, Palestine receive a state with liberty. There's no more conflict. There's no more terrorism there. Both sides mourn the losses, accept the fact that evil has happened and choose the hard road of forgiveness. Forgiveness doesn't mean forgetting. It means I'm not going to continue the cycle of violence because the cycle of violence is generational, meaning each generation has to come and participate in the bloodshed because they're angry and both sides are justified in doing so. There's another thing I want to say which is unequivocally clear. I don't support the death of a single Palestinian child. There is a difference between Hamas and the everyday Palestinian citizens. What is happening in this conflict is an abomination, it's evil. I don't support that. But I do not support statements such as from the river to the sea. That is calling for the absolute evisceration of the Jewish state, which is never going to happen. It's never going to happen. That's what I'm saying. That statement is a provocation from the river to the sea.
You say free Palestine, no problem. I understand. Don't say to the river to the sea. That is a, that is a direct call for military action to eviscerate a people from the nation of the world, and that is not what we want. The second solution is either the Arab states assimilate the Palestinians into their territories and give them freedom. I think it's the easier the option of the two. They literally receive liberty, they receive education and a future. We have a, we have a direct model of this working in Sweden, Germany and other Western and Eastern European nations who have assimilated millions, not thousands, millions of Syrian and Afghani refugees and now they're thriving. They live well, they go to university. They're enjoying their culture and country. And because of the small number of Palestinians being only around seven to five million, somewhere around there, it's something that's very easy to do. And if you don't want to move them to the to Western Saudi can cut a check and give them a, another nation and drop a hundred billion, it only takes Israel Israel was founded with a hundred billion dollars. And then as time goes on, each nation just chip, gives them a, a couple billion every year. So it's possible to build a nation and just give it to the Palestinians. And then you can have liberty that way. So there's multiple solutions. But the idea that this blood feud, it's not the last point. The idea that the, um, uh, the idea that this blood feud is just going to continue forever, I don't wish that upon anybody. If I was a, if I was a Gaza citizen and my children was killed, and I, and I was holding the dead body of my, my mother or my father or my, ch or my child in my hand, I would be joining ISIS too. So I can't judge them. I can't judge people who's lost their entire families becoming militant soldiers. I can't judge them. Terrorism is something that's created. It's not just a sporadic um, thing. It's something that's actually created by suffering. That's what I have to say. Long live Israel and liberty to the Palestinians. Not destruction to Israel. Liberty, freedom and a real future. That's what I have to say, my brother. And thank you. Yeah, you can, no, you can respond. I was going to say thank you for being a good dance partner because like, this, this, this is a very tense conversation, as you can see with the individual that's suffering over here. He's brave because he knows that I'm not going to touch him. Because he knows. Because he knows. No, I asked serious questions. Go deal with your psychological white guilt. That's your problem, not mine. That's your problem, not mine. I think that's the story. I'm not trying to say Israel was never inhabited by Jews at all. Yeah. No, you don't open the history. Go open the history book, my friend. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I'm sorry, you go, bro. You go. I'm sorry, bro. Bro, I can't, I can't handle this. Estonian follow Moses in the desert. I I that's not white I I welcome Sam's sympathetic comments towards the Palestinian fight and cause. I don't want to echo his words about the killing of civilians on both sides. Right. He's lucky. He's lucky. I'm not moving. I said it. I think, Sam, unfortunately, you've made, you keep repeating this, this oh, false fine, fine. equivocation with the Syrians and the Afghanis. Like I said, with the Syrian refugees and Afghani refugees, for example, being in the West and other nations, Syria still exists. Afghanistan still exists. Yeah. I believe the onus should not be put upon the Arab nations to absorb the Palestinian peoples. This is an international problem yeah. created by the international community. Okay, that's fair, that's fair. It should not be sat upon only the Arab nations to resolve this issue. So do you support all of them? All of them assimilating Palestinians? You're saying the Arabs... Do you support the entire international community worldwide assimilating Palestinians? No. Then what are you talking what about? What I'm saying is, if you are saying because of the situations and the death and, and basically the dire situation the Palestinians find themselves in, then by default, the Palestinians should be absorbed into the Arab nations. We can, why, why, why are you not here standing saying, with the atrocities being met against the Israelis for the last, since 48. It's not, it's not been why, one sided. It's why been don't the Israelis depart? What do you mean, why, why, should, don't, why should they depart? Why should the Palestinians depart? That's my point. Because they're the ones who are That's suffering. That's my point, no. They have nothing. That's the point I'm making. <laughs> oh, yeah, That's the point. point I'm making. Exactly. That's the point I'm making. Now, but I give you that. I in give relation, you that. I give you that. in relation to the Arab or the Muslim conquests of North Africa, of parts of the Middle East, and of parts of Asia, for example, I want to quote this. Oh my God. And thank you for maintaining your cordiality. I'm sorry for. You, Sam, no problem. No, I'm sorry for like. No, no, I get it. I want to quote. That's all right, but I want to quote this. Okay. The difference is this. The difference is, for example, Constantinople. 
When the Sultan Mehmed entered Constantinople and conquered Constantinople, he gave freedom of religion, freedom of movement to the inhabitants, them being Christian, Greek or Jews or alike or whatnot. They were not forcibly removed from their home. Yeah, we don't support that. Unfortunately, the time when some Greeks left what is now modern day Turkey is after the Turkish Greek War in 1924, where there was an agreement between the international community, but namely Greece themselves, namely the Republic of Turkey themselves, where there was a population exchange of the Turks to, from of the Greeks to Greece and the Turks from Greece to Turkey. Okay, it was a population exchange like with India and Pakistan after the British Raj. That was not the situation in Israel. It was completely different. Of course, of course, okay. completely different. When my ancestors came into Morocco, the Berbers, the Amazigh, did not flee to Spain or south to Mauritania or to anywhere. They stood put, they fought a ferocious war, three major wars. One of the longest conquests that the Muslims took was of North Africa. But they stayed, they kept their land and they eventually simulated. There was no Gaza West Bank. There was no nothing. You Berbers and Mexic have to stay in Tangiers or Marrakesh. Marrakesh didn't exist. Or to Marrakesh only. Or you can only stay here. Or you can only stay in Fez. Or you can only stay in modern day Casablanca. They didn't do that. They stayed in their lands as a population. So there's a difference. You can't equate that to that. Thirdly, it's just let me like finish. Thirdly, you said Islamic wars conquering land yes you said a saracen curved sword if that's the case shout out allah <laughs> then it is come okay on, come on you said this, man. Mike, well, yeah, yeah, sorry, you, yeah, said this you said this i believe sam's understanding of the creation and the existence of israel is solely from a biblical religious point of view <laughs> you hypocrites <laughs> you point the finger at me but yet you look at your own scriptures to justify the state of Israel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you? Yes, you do. You do. Do you, you want to finish it? And like white guilt is a form of Christian guilt. Everything I said. White guilt came from Christianity. Everything I said wasn't based on scripture. I didn't quote the Bible once in any of the things I said. All I said, I didn't, I didn't quote the Bible. No, no, wait, 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 excuse me. The only thing, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Paul, who are you speaking to? Listen, I mean, listen, Sam, listen, who are you listen, speaking listen to? Listen to what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. When I said Israel belongs to the Jews, that's a biblical statement. I'll give you that. So that's a good point. Thank you. So I acknowledge that. Are they chosen but, people? Yes, of course they are. Who chose them? Oh my God. And what land did he give the chosen people? The, that, Israel. That land, yeah. There we go. Fantastic. No, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to say that's not the case. But what I'm trying to illustrate is my entire analysis of everything was purely just based on the historical events that happened. Two nations were given land. And I gave, in my perspective, legitimate solutions. But I, I, I understand your perspective. I can say that. I do understand. They feel, irrespective of how I feel, they feel that it's their land, or that particular part is their land, and they don't want to leave their home, so I understand that. And that's that's a factor that we do have to consider, so, so I, I can acknowledge that. I, I'm happy, I enjoyed the discussion. I, I'm sorry for the hostility at certain points with the no, crowd, but for the most part, I'm happy that I can speak to Idris about a very, very controversial topic with peace and grace and a genuine sense got, of respect. I, make, I got a, thank you. I got a message to the Palestinians. Oh, Palestinians! By you standing on that seven square inch piece of land, you are resisting. Oh, Palestinians! By you breathing and being alive, you are resisting. Do not flee your homes. Stay put. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let me finish. Do not enter. Do not enter Egypt, because it will be another exodus. Stay put. By you having children, you are resisting. By you yes. passing on your religion yes. and your culture and your language, you are resisting. Keep resisting in these in these manners. I, 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 what, the, the statement that they shouldn't leave their homes when missiles are actually going to be dropped is a very controversial Germany. statement. Germany. So I, no, 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 but we need to be clear don't about Don't leave we Gaza. Need to be clear. That's different. Don't leave that's different. the West that's, Bank. That's, that's a different statement. That's a different statement from saying don't leave your homes when we know missiles are literally about to be dropped in the territory. But you clarify, no, you clarify. Who's dropping the, who's clarify. Dropping the missiles? Israel. It's going to happen. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to clarify the situation. Who's firing missiles into Israel? Pa Iraq. So, so, so what's the point? The point is, I do agree in part with what he said about... I, I understand and accept his approach and analysis to the legitimacy and the sentiment that the Gazan people feel 
that it's actually their home and they don't want to go to another country. They want to experience liberty on their land. I do appreciate that perspective and I feel like that's kind of given me a angle that I didn't think about before. And I think that's viable despite this quite heated conversation. I think that was an angle that I didn't it as fully, it fully, you know. 100%. So I'm going speak again as we always do. As always, bro. Big respect to Idris. Likewise. Big respect. Assalamu alaikum.